So every good craft usually starts with a trip to the Dollar Tree for me. I try to check the Dollar Tree before I head to Michael's or any other supply store or craft supply store because usually they have what I'm looking for. And if it's not what I'm looking for, I might find something really cool that would give me an idea. And when I'm only paying a dollar twenty-five, it used to be a dollar, now it's dollar twenty-five, I don't feel as bad if I don't use it to its full potential. So I've um really found some things that have given me inspiration. I'm really excited to get back home and get started on these Encanto magic candles. Hi, Finding Disney fam. As you saw, I just went to Dollar Tree. I'm back and let's make these candles. I've laid out all my supplies and I wanted to show you all really quick this spray glue that I had bought. Um, it's by Scotch. I got it at Michael's. It was $10. It was a little bit expensive, but um, it's quite a big can. So I'm excited to give it a try. I've never used spray glue before. First things first, I need to get these stickers off the candle jars and they will not come off. And it's very annoying. Eventually, I just get over it and I decide to go ahead and roll with it. Um, I'm spraying glue on it anyway, so it's kind of working for me as an adhesive. So we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this gold tool because the candle in the movie kind of has a gold tone to it. And I think if I put this behind the other one, It'll really give it a cool effect. It'll make the candle look more gold. I think I'm gonna need to wrap it twice. Okay, I've put several layers on this so far. Um, I'm kind of almost paper, paper macheing it. I like how it's looking, but I think I need to make it a little thicker in places. I might have to cut the tool, okay? Now we're doing this together, so. <laughs> I decided to flip the camera around so you can get all this goodness and while I'm crafting with you, I've got this tool here as I showed you, but I just wanted to open it up so you can see that it has a really pretty scroll pattern and I know you can buy this anywhere. I got it at the Dollar Tree obviously, but um, the candle in the movie has all sorts of scroll work and it has a butterfly in the middle. Um, I bought a gold pen because I'm going to try drawing it as well but i wanted to try and do something that people that don't draw well or don't feel confident drawing would have a way to make an encanto candle without having to draw so we're going to wrap this around look how pretty that is oops it's stuck to the paper this is going to be perfect so let's get this glued on and um, i also bought some butterfly stickers that i thought would look really pretty on this and it won't look exactly like the one in the movie, but it'll be inspired by, and that's exactly what we're going for, and you can use it for a birthday party. If you just wanna leave it like this, it would be really cool at like a New Year's Eve party or even a wedding. It's really pretty. I'm gonna be a little more precise with this measurement. I wasn't as precise with the other one because I knew it was gonna be hidden, so, but I wanna be a little bit more precise with this one because I'm only gonna wrap it once, so. Okay, here's my cut. It's about, um, I would say, one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven inches long. Depending on what candle you'll find, it'll be different for you. 
And I want to place it right in the center. Right in the center of the candle. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. This spray glue is going to dry clear. And it's going to be nice and tacky and perfect for what we're doing. Just spraying it on the inside and then pulling it tight. Okay. Oh wow, that looks really cool. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I can't wait to see what this looks like at night. I do end up having a, se a little bit of a seam in the back. I tried to make them together, but you can hardly even see it. If you were doing this for like a wedding or something, I would suggest that you would you know, be a little bit more careful than me. But honestly, it's really hard to see the seam. You could run some jewels down it or something like that and that would be amazing. I do have some jewels right here. We could run a bead of jewels right down the seam. I just don't think it's necessary. Let's just, let's just proceed and see what, how we, let's just like see how we feel. I've been feeling a little under the weather lately so my voice is kind of nasally. Which sticker do you guys think? I'm kind of feeling maybe oh, pink or blue. Maybe even a couple might be pretty. Or for this candle, you could you could do these butterflies up the seam. You know, honestly, I bought these butterflies because I was just inspired by it. But this candle, you just leave it here at, as it is and just move on. You don't even need this butterfly. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for blue. it that is so pretty Mirabelle's dress is blue just like my nails that's why I got my nails done this color let's just you know just because we're in the mood we're in the crafting mood why don't we add just a couple of butterflies let's see we'll, we'll put them at we'll put them at a few different angles okay that's a pink one that's a darker pink here's a lighter pink why don't we put one down like right here Angle it this way, maybe. Oh. Wow, that's really cute. There you have my very first Encanto inspired candle. Was that not easy or what? So this candle cost me $4 for the supplies. Wow, so pretty. Okay, let's make that second one that's a little harder. That's gonna be drawing by hand, so. Let's see how it turns out. So this is a different filming day. I'm in a different shirt. It kind of looks like Encanto though, don't you think? All the bright colors. I am going to practice drawing the candle design. I found it on the internet. And I'm gonna practice drawing it on this piece of paper first before I actually draw it on my candle, so. I have a feeling that it's just gonna be kind of a freestyle because this is a flat piece of paper and this is round, but I still wanna practice first, so I'm gonna give that a whirl. Here's kind of my completed practice and I'm ready to go ahead and try to draw it on this candle with my gold pen that I bought from the Dollar Tree. So I'm excited. I think it's going to turn out really cute. I have finished the design and I really love it. It was actually pretty easy. I was kind of nervous about doing it, but it turned out really nice. I think that I might even add a little bit to it. 
um, just a few more dots and maybe a few more of these flowers and and maybe squigglies. I made a kind of a mistake um, right here. I don't like how that looks like a hook or something, but the other side looks a little more smoother. But I don't think anyone would notice. I just think it's really pretty and I love the scroll work and the gold against the white. So I really hope that you guys decide to give this a try. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And you know, you could buy a candle like this for a kid's birthday party, even a smaller one, and let the kids have a gold pen like this and do their own Encanto magic candle. I think it would be a really fun craft at a kid's birthday party and then a fun takeaway as well. So I really wanna light these up and see how they look at night. So I'll have to wait till it gets dark out for that. I decided to go downstairs in my bathroom instead of waiting for it to get dark out. I don't know why I thought that. It's not like I couldn't find a dark place in my house. Um, I'm a little disappointed because you can't see the design, but as soon as those candles really start to burn down into the middle, then I think the design's really gonna pop. So I guess maybe um, light the candles early in the party so you can see the design later on in the party as the night goes on. But I'm still extremely pleased with these. Thank you so much for watching me craft today. It was a lot of fun. I haven't done a craft on my channel in a really long time. And thank you to Erica Diocampo. Um, she's the one who really inspired this video today. She wanted to do an Encanto collaboration with everybody who um, likes to do YouTube or Instagram or any sort of content creator and I really wanted to jump on board. So thank you to her for inspiring this craft today and I hope you guys give it a try and you really have a lot of fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye Disney fans!